What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the coop once again. <clears throat> Ashes all over me. <laughs> Trying something different today. I was asked uh, yesterday. I'm a little squirrel buddy. Ask I was asked yesterday if I would turn my camera sideways. Landscape view, whatever you want to call it. He called it landscape. I didn't know what it, what he was talking about. <laughs> he told me. Turn it sideways is called landscape. So here we are landscaping. Smoking a custom built. Got a lot of bloom on there from where I just lit it. Usually I try to take care of that before I get on camera. Yep. Usually I like to get it lit before I get on here, but trying something different today. I figured since I was going sideways, This is a custom built, and I don't think you can, or you might be able to. You see the logo? That was all one word, B-I-L-T. No big mouth over here. I forget now, when I bought this, the guy that I bought it from, I got it on eBay, told me that it was a Tracy Mincer era. Well, come find out it's not. I'm sure one of y'all will know what it is. I, the name Wally Frank sounds. I believe somebody told me that it was a Wally Frank era, which was after Tracy Mincer. And when I con uh, contacted the guy and said, this is not a Tracy Mincer pipe, he said, I meant what I, what I meant was Tracy Mincer was in charge of ordering the briar for the pipes that were made after his domain of the custom built era. Me not knowing any difference, I was like, okay, thanks. I was happy with the pipe, no matter what era it came from. I just liked it with that craggy old rustication. It's just badass to have something from like the 50s or 60s that's still a great smoking machine <laughs> and it is a great smoking machine hmm. I've only smoked it like twice and both times that I smoked it I got a Lakeland-esque taste, flavor from the, the tobacco I was smoking. And I did not smoke any Lakeland in it because I don't like Lakeland. So I couldn't finish the bowl on either because it had started getting too floral and soapy taste that I didn't like it. So, I thought that someone had been smoking Lakeland in it, and it had got ghosted. Well, come find out from one of you knowledgeable viewers of mine. Told me that old pipes when they sit this ear always gets where it needs to pop told me that old pipes when they sit without being smoked for a long period of time for some reason they will take on that floral-esque Lakeland-y taste in the pipe why they don't know 
They couldn't explain why, I guess just because old pipes do that. I'd never had an old pipe, so I cannot confirm nor deny that what they told me was true or false. I just go by the belief of the knowledge of my people. So when y'all tell me something, I, I tend to believe it. Not that I'm gullible, just that I'm a believer in my friends that they wouldn't steer me wrong. Whenever I do a video and I do something that I am hell bent on being right about something, and then I find out the next day or so that I'm wrong, I go back and correct the matter. I don't like to, to lead any of you guys in the wrong direction. So, <laughs> out of the frame this time, he got it. <clears throat> so when you guys tell me something, I take it on belief. I mean, why not? Y'all haven't had any reason to not tell me the truth. So, I believe that old pipes will take on that floral-esque flavoring in the wood that'll get set in. Because I know that if you smoke cherry tobacco in a pipe and let it set, the next time you smoke it, it's going to taste cherry. So that's why I thought that it might have been a Lakeland smoking pipe for whoever owned it before me. But it seems that that's not the case. It was very well clean before I smoked it. Pardon me. And I also cleaned it with alcohol and uh, that pipe cleaner stuff that's got a minty alcohol aroma to it i cleaned it up real well sanitized it and it still ha it had the aroma or the flav flavor in it so anyway enough of that i figured if i was gonna taste that type of aroma you don't taste aroma <laughs> anyway I smoked something in there today that has a, it is considered a Lakeland by some people and or Galworth and Hogarth, Galworth, Hogarth and company. And I don't mean the rose geranium Lakeland. I mean the full blown Full flavor Tonkin Tonquin bean as in 1792 flake mm -hmm. Do I taste any floral? <laughs> no <laughs> I'm skinning this cat. You can believe that, boys. I'm skinning this cat. I got to thinking last night, I wanted to smoke this pipe because I haven't smoked it in a year. And I was like, it just hit me. Smoke something that's got a flavor, not a, a aromatic or Lakeland, but something, which it is Lakeland, but something that's got a flavor that would probably be better than the flavor that it has. And maybe this will ghost the pipe. See where I'm going? So I'm gonna smoke this pipe a couple times the rest of this week with uh, 1792 in it. Because it is a big, wide bowl that's great for flakes. And they say good it's good for flake, English, and burleys. Especially a burly flake. But 
but I'm thinking just 1792 flake. So what I did different is I took the flake, I got, this is a flake out of the, uh, my latest, it, which is, it came into 50 pound, 50 pound, <laughs> I wish. 50 gram, not 50 gram either, half a pound box. Not even gonna try to go there in grams. Half pound box. The flakes in it are as long as the box. If you buy a tin, the flakes are as long as what the tin is. The box, the flakes are longer. They're at least as long as this pipe. I took one and rolled it up like a fruit roll up. Stuffed it in the pipe. Well, part of it was sticking out because it just wouldn't go down in there. And you can't roll it up perfect like a fruit roll up is. If you use a piece of paper on it and rolled it up the way the roll up is, so it'll unroll. Then if you ever had a fruit roll up, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I did the old uh, rolling stuff, fluff, folding stuff, whatever you want to call it. I, I've never had much success with uh, folding stuff. So I never do it. I just don't even bother. But today I had the idea of taking one of those long flakes, rolling it up, and putting it in here and smoking it. That didn't work out either. <laughs> I got it rolled up and started going in. And like I said, part of half of it was sticking out the top of the bowl. So I tried breaking it off. And it just turned into a mess. So I just dumped it out, rubbed it out real good. And then stuck it in there. I rubbed it out with some long, if you rubbed out a flake, you know what I'm talking about. With the long stringy pieces. When you, when you first rub it out and you get the long stringy pieces, I pulled that to the side and the smaller stuff fell on my valet. I took the rest of the stringy stuff I rolled it up real good and so then I stuffed it back and forth with the stringy stuff, the little gra uh, shake, string shake, and then alternated it back and forth. And that seems to be smoking pretty good. And my little squirrel here, he's done, he's uh, burying, he's not eating them. Actually, it's the uh, little mama. She's just, she's just burying them. Little floral came through right there on that, on that relight. I got a little floral from what's what's the what it tastes like before when I was smoking like anything out of it. I'd only smoke I think I smoked vapor and I try I think I tried a burly in it. Huh? This one I got the rubber bit on. I don't usually use those. Well, I got another one coming in over here from behind. And that little mama wants to chase him because I gave him one. A greedy little sucker. So I think that about covers the old pipe. I do like it. I, like I said, I got a bit on there. This this stem being so wide, it just felt funny for whatever reason. But I put this bit on there when I first got it and it made it feel more natural and more comfortable than it did without the bit. All my other pipes, I tried using a bit on them when I first started smoking and it just didn't work out for me. This is the only pipe, I think this is the only one left that has a bit on it and this this works out, this works good.
Oh, Dissum has dissed me. I've done everything. I've purged it. I've, I've emptied it and purged it. Refilled it. Nothing. Emptied it. Purged it again. Refilled it. Nothing. Took the little casing off of it. A little screw here and a little screw there. And this whole thing comes off. The... You can almost see it, but through that little hole right there, that's the uh, the fuel. That's the end of where the flame comes out of right there. And you can look in there and see the spark. When you look in, you can see the spark going, the igniter going over to the, to the fuel post. <sighs> this squirrel gonna drive me crazy. And, uh, I'm sorry. I took it apart. That thing is like going to spring. It just, because I thought if I reached in there and bent it closer, well, it doesn't. It's on a coil. It's like a spring. So it's filled up. I just filled it up yesterday. Brand new. Good fluid. I know the fluid, the, uh, butane is good because I just filled up all my other lighters the dissum has dissed me I bought I'm gonna have to go on their website because I bought this from the website and I think I caught I'm per, I, I think I pay I, I I think I bought it from the website and I paid 40 40 or 40 some dollars for it with shipping or free shipping or whatever it was. I know it, it wasn't no damn $15 lighter. And uh, I haven't had it that long for it to be done with. So I'm going to have to go on the Dissum website and uh, check it out, see what their warranty policy is. And then pull up my orders because I'm sure I've registered and all I have to sign in pull up my order history and get the order number and then send them the email and all that bull stuff that you have to go through when you when you have a problem or issue and then then you find out how their customer service is in my opinion if they're anything like pipes and cigars customer service It'll be some of the best in the business. A lot of people have bad experience with pipes and cigars. I have not. They are top notch and one of the greatest customer service companies in the industry, in my opinion. And my opinion is just <laughs> my opinion. So anyways, I'm a jump guys. If you know, you know. I'm going to see if any of the uh, Lakeland-esque goes away by the end of this bowl. And uh, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow sometime, I'm sure. So remember, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And with that being said, until next time, you know what to do. Stuff them and puff them.